<laughs> Hey guys, it's Therese, and today's video I'm going to teach you how to take notes, how to take good notes, and how to take effective notes. Now this is actually a real video, it's not just going to be one of those girly, youtube -y, oh look at all these light effects that I can put on this clip, no. I'm actually going to give you real tips and real things that I've learned on how to take notes, and this is the part of my new back to school series, Reese's School Survival Guide. That's a thing now, I just made it up two seconds ago, so yeah. So otherwise, we're going to get started, and I feel really official at this desk, except it was really heavy and I had to move it by myself, and the background's my bed, so it's not official. Okay, let's get started. Starting with taking notes in class, a good tip is to see if there's any PowerPoints or any work that you can print out from online that your teacher might post before the actual lecture or whatever it is. I know my teachers always have like a PowerPoint that they follow and they just kind of do a lecture on the PowerPoint but you can print out the PowerPoint before which I think is really really helpful because instead of copying down everything that they say you already have like a basic structure for it so that's just tip number one. But otherwise if there's nothing you can print out I'm just going to go out and say it. Write down everything that you see and, he and hear in class. Write down everything sh the teacher writes on the board. Write down everything that they say because you might write down everything that's on the board but they might have said something that's on the test and you weren't really paying attention because you were writing down everything on the board. So it's okay if they're sloppy, it's okay if they're messy because you can go back later after class or later when you get home and rewrite your notes better to understand. When you're writing from a textbook, you want to outline the textbook and get the main points. You don't just want to reword it in your own words because that's just going to defeat the purpose. Basically, write down the chapter that you're taking notes on at the top of your paper and then for each subheading in the chapter, write that as a subheading in your notes and then for the paragraph underneath the subheading, write down all of the main points and basically bullet point them in your notes. They shouldn't be very long, it should be concise, and you should be able to reference back to the textbook instead of copying the whole textbook, because you already got the textbook there, so you don't need to copy it. You actually have to understand what the heck your notes are on. So what I suggest is always write it in your own handwriting, because I feel like it's so much easier to read it when you wrote it yourself, especially you'll be able to remember it more because you already wrote it once in your notes, so it'll already kind of be subconsciously in your mind. But Find a note-taking system that works for you if you like writing everything in your notes as a paragraph, if you like writing it in bullet points, if you like writing it in little chunks on your paper, whatever it is, figure out that works for you. I personally like doing the subheading and then bullet points underneath it because I just feel like it's really easy to read that way. I'm a very visual learner, so I need to have different colors on my paper. I cannot read paper in just black ink straight down, so what I like to do is use different colored pens and highlighters to mark off different topics in my notes. For example, let's write all the vocab words I need to know in my notes in green. Now when I'm going back to reference my notes or study my notes and I need to find a vocab word, I don't have to look through pages of my notes. All I have to do is look through the green parts. It makes it so much easier to just read through your notes and study them and understand what you're writing down. But you also don't want to go crazy and make it look like a rainbow puked on your paper, so stick to like four or five colors. Some topics you might want to do in different colors are vocab words, dates, people, and important events. Try to make note taking a little bit fun, and I know you guys don't want to hear that because note taking in school sucks, but I'm going to change your outlook right now. Okay, ready? Listen up. Go to Tumblr or go to Pinterest, type in the tag or hashtag study blur, and your mind will be blown. You're going to see notes that you've never seen before. It's going to be beautiful. You're going to be motivated and inspired to take good notes because these people are like magical. I don't know how they do it. So when you're taking your notes, maybe instead of writing a sentence, you can draw it as a picture and it will be easier for you to understand in it, a picture instead of a sentence. You don't want to be distracted and doodle all over your pages, but if it's easier for you to see maybe pictures or diagrams or once again colors, then you can draw them and make it a little bit of like a coloring book sesh instead of a studying sesh. And finally, when you're taking your notes and you might not understand what you're writing down or you might not know what's important to write down instead of just writing down everything, 
Leave a little paper next to you where you can write down questions while taking your notes and go back to your teacher and ask them, is this important? Should I write this down? Should I study this? This has helped so much because you're probably not going to remember the questions the next day if they just pop in and out of your head while you're taking your notes. So if you keep a little paper next to you, you're able to write them all down and take them to the teacher the next day. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it helped. If it did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Comment below what your favorite subject is. I personally love math but I want to know what yours favorite is and otherwise I hope you guys enjoyed and stay tuned to the next video. Peace. I can't reach the camera from here so let's just pretend I'm gonna cover it with my hands. Okay, ready? Okay, bye. This feels good right here.